When it comes to natural wonders, nothing compares to a San Angelo sunset. Out here on the outskirts of town is the prettiest when that big yellow globe slowly disappears behind a West Texas ridge. But this spot is more than just a scenic overlook, it's a landmark, the place where three forks form a union of the Concho River. Water is a lifeline. Without water, there is no life. Sunset or middle of the day, Mark Priest thinks his hometown river is pretty special. He's been coming here since he was a boy, swimming and sailing or just taking walks along the bank. Today he's going fishing, but if you're looking for a rod and reel, forget it, because Mark Priest fishes with his feet. We just run our feet over the bed of the lake of the river and feel for the mussel shell. The mussel shell would normally be sitting up at an angle like that. That's right, mussel shells out in the middle of a West Texas riverbed. They've been here for millions of years, dating back to when this area was at the bottom of some primordial sea. But while the dinosaurs faded to extinction, these little critters somehow survived, adapting from salt water to fresh and spreading like a West Texas wildfire. That's why it's called the Concho River. You take the O off of Concho, you have conch, the Latin word for shell. It's a risky business going barefoot wading these days. Along with the nutria and the water moccasins, Mark's got to watch out for broken bottles and cans. But you know Mark doesn't really mind a few scraped up toes. For him, it's all worth it in that moment of discovery. Ooh, think found one. Yeah. It's uh, a thrill unlike anything else to reach down and pull that muscle shell up. It's uh, just part of the treasure. Then you open it up and get to see what's actually inside. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, look at that. Whoa. There, just beneath the protective tentacles of the mussel itself, lies the creature's tiny treasure. It's the famous Concho River Pearl, world renowned for its unique color and brilliant luster, a beauty that's fascinated Mark Priest for more than 20 years. Now, whether it's the fever from the same thing that brought the gold hunters to California or the opal rushes to Australia, um, you, you can't describe it. To see that pearl inside there is, is just an inside rush. As a gemologist, we deal with a tremendous number of different stones, but um, pearls are my personal favorite. That's kind of my area of specialty, if you will. Mark was just a teenager when he turned a hobby into a livelihood. Today, his Concho River creations are sought after around the world. Folks just can't seem to get enough of his famous corn cob brooch or peapod pins. They're one of a kind designs suited for a very special stone. These pearls are so beautiful, the only thing that you're limited by is your own imagination. Mark prizes each and every pearl, now more than ever. You see, for one reason or another, they just aren't finding as many mussel shells as they used to. Time was that Mark could spend all day pearling and come home with 30 nice ones. But today, well, he's lucky if he turns up two or three. They're very, very difficult to find. They're very, very rare, especially here in the United States. We've uh, taken the natural waterways and we've stagnated them, we've polluted them. We've killed mussel shells off by so many species they can't even keep track of it. And yet out here, they still thrive. Maybe not in abundance, but they still thrive. And they produce these pearls that'll compare to pearls found anywhere else in the world. That's special. The 
The mussel shells and their precious cargo have lived on the Concho for centuries, always cherished by the peoples that populate its bank, from the Indians to Spanish explorers and folks who wear Mark's jewelry today. The Concho Pearl's a survivor with a beauty that endures. Here we are in the depths of West Texas of all places, with one of the least likely places you would think of as having pearls, much less purple pearls, and they will compare to a pearl found anywhere else in the world. They are a true, true rarity. These, uh, these are pretty special. And since we have no more pearls of wisdom for you, we'll be heading down the road. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bob Phillips. This is Texas Country Reporter. We'll see you next time.